In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a standard camera in 3ds Max. So there's a few ways to make cameras. The first is to go to the Create tab and then the fourth icon over is your Cameras icon. If you select that you'll get your camera options. If you have a, a renderer like V-Ray installed you can also make V-Ray cameras but for this we'll just stick with standard cameras. You can also use standard cameras to render uh, in V-Ray, it doesn't matter. Um, there's some specific uh, parameters to V-Ray cameras, but standard work as well. So you, your options are to create a target camera or a free camera. If I create a free camera and just drag in the scene, you'll notice that it creates a camera. If I create a target camera, it does something a little differently. So a free camera has no target. You can still move it, you can rotate, um, but for the most part you probably want to use a target camera because that will allow you to adjust the target location and the camera location. So I'll delete the first camera. And so to use this you can use your move rotate tools up here and you just really want to move the target to where you're going to view and the camera to where you want to look from. So one good technique by the way is to use your different viewports. So if you minimize your viewports by hitting the lower right button in your window you can minimize your viewports into the four different views. And so usually you want to select one view and make that a camera view. So to do that, you select, select what the view currently is, right click on that, select camera, and then whatever cameras in the scene will be in a list here. So right now I only have one camera, so I'll select that. And that's my view right now. So it's not great, so I want to select my target, which is down here. I want to move that up. So I'm looking at the center of the object. Then I want to select my camera and move that so I have a better view. Now one important thing, uh, by default the camera is set up as a 35 millimeter, which isn't the best um, view, actually it's 50 millimeter, so it's not the best view for viewing an object. It doesn't give you much perspective. So if I select the camera and go to my modify tab, so notice I'm not selecting my target, I'm selecting my camera, um, and then I go to the modify tab. If you go down, there are different lens, uh, stock lenses you can use. You can also type in an exact value here, but for now I can just use these stock lenses. So you'll notice if I go below, like a 35 millimeter is a standard point and shoot camera. If I go below that, that's considered a wide angle, so it gets a lot more of the scene in the view, and it can increase the sort of um, perspective, the effect of the perspective. So for architecture, usually you'll want to use a wide angle like 20 or 24. Um, if you use anything higher than that, you can see it's like a telephoto or a macro lens, so it really flattens out the scene. So usually you use something like a 24, and then move that back in. And that's how you set up a camera. Notice if you're in your camera view, your orbits don't work in the same way. That's because you're in your camera view. So if you want to orbit around the model again, I recommend you select the camera and then go back to perspective view. One other useful technique is if you already are in a view, let's say I'm orbiting in perspective and I really want this particular view, you can actually create a camera from that view. If you go to create camera, you can create camera from view, you can also hit control C is the shortcut. And you'll notice it actually locates a camera in that current view. So there's the camera, if I move that it'll change this view. That's a good way just to set up cameras very quickly.